In this video, I'll be building on my Synology Drive Setup Simplified video and add on both Synology Office and Synology Chat Server to create a collaborative work environment when using the Synology Drive web portal. As a starting point, I've gone through the setup of my video that I mentioned earlier on configuring Synology Drive, which I'll link to in the description below for your reference. At this point, I've configured a non-administrator user account that I'll be configuring further throughout this video. I've installed Synology Drive Server from the Package Center, created a shared folder that I assigned read-write permissions to the user that was created earlier, then set up the shared folder as a team folder in the Synology Drive admin console. I've also configured Quick Connect for remote access and set up a login portal alias for Synology Drive. The next thing we'll need to do is install both Synology Office and Synology Chat Server from the Package Center, which I've already done on this system. Once installed, Synology Office should be available for use from the Synology Drive web portal. And we can confirm this by navigating to the web portal, and I'll do that by first going to Control Panel, External Access, and click on the Quick Connect DSM link, which brings up DSM in a separate web browser tab. Next, I'll update the link to take advantage of the alias that was set up earlier to access Synology Drive. Now, I'll log into the web portal, navigate to the Documents Team folder, click Create, and we can see the options to create a document, spreadsheet, slides, or a file from a template, as well as encrypted versions of those files as well. For Synology Chat to work, the account that was created earlier needs to be assigned permissions to use the application. This is set up by going to Control Panel, User and Group, and editing the user's account. From here, select Applications, then enable the Allow User Permission for Synology Chat and click Save. Now, if we bring up the web portal again and refresh the page, we can see that Chat is an available option from the menu here. To demonstrate collaborating on a document, I've brought up two browser windows set up side by side. For the window on the left, I've logged on with an administrator account, and for the window on the right, I've logged on with the user account that I've been configuring throughout this video. I've also navigated to the Documents Team folder that both users have read and write access to. As the administrator, I'll create a new document, add some content, and rename the file to something more meaningful. Then, as the regular user, I'll refresh the browser window so I can see the new document, and I'll double-click the file to bring it up in a new tab. Now, both users can see that the document is being viewed by the other and can identify the other user and see where the user's cursor is located by clicking on the icon displayed in the upper right corner of the file. Also, as users edit the document, the other users will see the changes take effect in real time. Comments can also be added, and once you click OK, other users will see the comment displayed in their view of the document. Users are also able to mention another user in a comment with the at symbol followed by the username. Lastly, regarding comments, if the comment thread was meant to be used as a checklist or task list, clicking on the check mark next to the initial comment clears the thread and marks the comments resolved. To communicate using chat, click on the icon in the lower left corner to bring up the Synology chat window. Then click on the document name to bring up the chat channel specifically for the document you are editing. Note that all users that have access to the file will receive the messages that are posted to the specific document's chat channel. You can also see all users currently viewing or editing the file from the Contact tab. To learn more about collaborative editing using Synology Office and the other options available with the Synology Chat plugin, I'll leave a couple links that you can refer to in the description below. Hopefully this video on Synology Office and Synology Chat 
provided you with some insight and ideas on how to implement a collaborative workflow in your environment, and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also, check out some of my other videos listed here on screen. Lastly, consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoy this type of content, and if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section listed in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.